हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू टुडे सेशन ऑन डिसेंट्रलाइज्ड ऑटोनोमस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और इट इज कॉल्ड एज डाउ इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट एस्टाउंडिंग कॉन्सेप्ट्स टू बी यूज्ड सक्सेसफुली अक्रॉस ब्लॉकचेन टेक्नोलॉजी डिसेंट्रलाइज्ड ऑटोनोमस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आर एंटिटीज दैट यूज स्मार्ट कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स टू ऑपरेट इट्स फाइनेंशियल ट्रांजैक्शन एंड रूल्स आर स्टोर्ड ऑन अ ब्लॉकचेन दस एलिमिनेटिंग द नीड फॉर सेंट्रल गवर्निंग अथॉरिटी हेंस द टर्म डिसेंट्रलाइज्ड एंड ऑटोनोमस DAO was basically designed to function as a venture capital fund for the cryptocurrency and decentralized environment. The lack of centralized authority cut its cost and in principle gave investors more power and access. So before begin our agenda please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So without further ado let's check today's agenda. We are going to start with what is decentralized autonomous organization. Then we are going to understand decentralized autonomous organization moving ahead we are going to discuss about how does a decentralized autonomous organization works then we are going to discuss some of the daos and basically check out what are the different daos then we are going to discuss the criticism of decentralized autonomous organization and at the end we are going to learn about the future of decentralized autonomous organization so What is basically decentralized autonomous organization? Decentralized autonomous organization is a non-centralized community-led entity. It is totally autonomous and transparent. Smart contracts establish the ground rules, execute the agreed upon decisions and proposals. Voting and even the code itself can be publicly audited at any time. Finally, a decentralized autonomous organization is totally administered by its individual members who jointly make crucial decisions about the project's future such as technical updates and treasury allocations in general members of the community create ideas for the protocol's future operations and then vote on each proposals proposals that attain a certain level of consensus are then accepted and enforced by the smart contract rules under this approach familiar hierarchical systems prevalent in huge corporations give way to community collaboration at some level each dao member is in charge of the protocol the alignment of incentives contributes to the elegance of this system it is in the best interest of the individual to vote honestly and approve only ideas that benefit the protocol itself a healthy strong protocol will attract additional users increasing the value of tokens that each dao member possesses as the protocol grows in its popularity so will the token holders daos are efficient and secure method to collaborate with like minded people all across the world consider them to be an internet native business that its member collectively own and govern they have built in treasuries that no one can access without the group's permission proposals and voting govern decisions to guarantee that everyone in the company has a voice now let's move on to understanding decentralized autonomous organization the decentralized autonomous organization was intended to be an automated and decentralized organization it functioned as a venture capital fund based on open source code and lacking a traditional management structure or board of directors to be totally decentralized the decentralized autonomous organization was unaffiliated with any nation state albeit using the ethereum network but why make an organization like the decentralized autonomous organization the developers of the decentralized autonomous organization believed that they could eliminate human error or manipulation of investor funds by placing decision making power into the hands of an automated system and a crowd sourced process fueled by either the decentralized autonomous organization was designed to allow investors to send money from anywhere in the world anonymously the decentralized autonomous organization would then provide those owners tokens allowing them voting rights on possible projects the decentralized autonomous organization was launched in late april 2016 as a result of a month long token crowd sale that garnered more than 115 million dollars The launch was the largest crowdfunding raising campaign of all time. Now let's study about how does a decentralized autonomous organization works. The decentralized autonomous organization's rules 
are defined by a core team of community members using smart contracts. These smart contracts establish the groundwork for how the decentralized autonomous organization will function. They are extremely transparent, verifiable and publicly auditable, allowing any potential member to fully grasp how the protocol will work at each stage. Once these rules have been formally recorded onto the blockchain, the decentralized autonomous organization must determine how to acquire financing and how to confer governance. Typically, this is accomplished through token issuance, in which the protocol sells tokens to raise funds and replenish the decentralized autonomous organization treasury. Token holders receive voting rights in exchange for the money, which are usually proportional to their holdings. The decentralized autonomous organization is ready for deployment once the funding is completed. Once the code has been deployed into the production, it can no longer be altered without consensus obtained through member vote. That is, no special authority has authority to change the decentralized autonomous organization's rules. It is entirely up to the community of token holders to decide. Now let's check out some of the decentralized autonomous organization. Dash The popular digital currency Dash is an example of a decentralized autonomous organization because of the way it is governed and the way its budgeting system is structured. It may only be a matter of time before additional DAOs into the field. Now, let's check out some of the more decentralized autonomous organization. The first one is DAO Horse, is a no-code platform for creating and running decentralized autonomous organization. The community owns and operates it. Looks no further if you want to create your own decentralized autonomous organization or explore the dynamic of the terrain. Next is Maker Decentralized Autonomous Organization. If you want to contribute to the protocol that is launched, the world's first unbiased stablecoin, that is DAI, DAI, you can participate in governance by voting on Maker Protocol updates. Next is Rapid Guild. It is a service-based decentralized autonomous organization that arose from the Meta Cartel network and is firmly embedded into the Web3 environment. If you want to give your programming, marketing or design skills to the guild, they are searching for good people to keep and killing product demons. Next is Proof of Humanity. This is Civil Resistant Register of Human Distributes Universal Basic Income or UBI tokens to confirm humans on a chain via social verification and Claro's codes. If you want to be a part of this justice movement, start with this democratic, decentralized, autonomous organization. Next is Opolis. For the independent worker, this member-owned digital employment cooperatives provides perks and shared services. Join if you're excited about the future work and want to have a say in shaping it. Next is Blankless Decentralized Autonomous Organization. Suppose, do you want to disseminate the Web3 message and educate the audience through the content? This media-focused decentralized autonomous organization may be of your interest. More information you can check on to the official website of Blankless Decentralized Autonomous Organization. Next is Moloch Decentralized Autonomous Organization. This is an OG of decentralized autonomous organization which gives out grants to help Ethereum ecosystem grow. You can fill this application form which is present on the Moloch decentralized organization website so you can become a governing member and contribute to the community. There is a special note. Investing in cryptocurrencies and other initial coin offering or ICOs can be highly risky since each individual situation is unique. So, a qualified professional should always be consulted. Now, let's discuss about some of the criticism of decentralized autonomous organization. Since the decentralized autonomous organization project has folded, its legacy lives on. Current blockchain development teams were always looking to the decentralized autonomous organization for guidance for what not to do. The first decentralized autonomous organization provides an important lesson about the significance of developing safe blockchain platform. 
the decentralized autonomous organization's hack was caused by a flaw in the Ethereum blockchain. Rather, it was caused by a software flaw exploited by a skilled hacker. The hack may have been avoided if the code had been written appropriately. Secondly, the SEC's decision on the decentralized autonomous organization has urged blockchain startups to devise methods to circumvent security registration and federal oversights. The SAFT approach is one strategy used by businesses to do this. If coins on a blockchain platform have legitimate utilitarian value, they are not securities and are not regulated by the SECs since they can violate a component of a Hovey's case. For example, by the May in 2016, the decentralized autonomous organization controlled a sizable proportion of all either tokens issued up to that around 14% according to the report by The Economist. However, at the same time, a report was produced that addressed as many possible security flaws warning investors not to vote on future investment projects until those issues were remedied. Later, in June of 2016, hackers used these weaknesses to attack the decentralized autonomous organization. The hackers acquired access to around 3.6 million of Ethereum, which was valued around $50 million. That sparked a significant and a controversial debate among the DAO investors, with some advocating alternative solutions to the hack and others demanding decentralized autonomous organization to be permanently dismantled. This episode also had a significant role in the subsequent hard forking of the Ethereum. The decentralized autonomous organization was prone to programming faults and attack vectors. The fact that the organization was venturing into an uncharted terrain in terms of regulation and corporate law did not help the matters. The repercussions of the organization's structure were potentially numerous. Investors were afraid that they would be held accountable for the activities committed by the DAO as whole. The decentralized autonomous organization was also in dark about whether or not it was selling securities. Furthermore, there were long-standing concerns about how the decentralized autonomous organization would perform in the real world. Investors and contractors alike had to transfer Ethereum into fiat currencies, which might have damaged either's value. Following on the ongoing debate over the decentralized autonomous organization's future and the large hacking incident earlier which happened this summer, several prominent digital currency exchanges delisted the decentralized autonomous organization's token in the September of 2016, therefore ending decentralized autonomous organization. And it was actually envisioned. I hope so you would have got some idea about the criticism of the decentralized autonomous organization. Now, let's discuss about the future of the decentralized autonomous organization. What does the future hold for decentralized autonomous organization? The decentralized autonomous organization, as originally envisioned, has not returned as of mid-2020. Nonetheless, interest in the decentralized autonomous organization as a broader group continues to grow. In 2021, the Maker Foundation, an icon in the crypto industry as original champion of decentralized autonomous organization, announced that it was officially turning operations to MakerDAO, the creator of DAI stablecoin, and would dissolve by the end of the year. While there are numerous unanswered questions and potential challenge about legality, security, and structure, some experts and investors predict that this sort of organization could eventually gain attraction, possibly even replacing traditional constituted organization. I hope so you would have got some idea regarding what is decentralized autonomous organization. So that was all from our side. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPad provides blockchain certification training mentored by industry experts, the course link of which is given in the description below.